Load these ships and deep with you on NS Weekly English News. Tamada fined Rohingya Muslims in Borobil area of Rathedong for paving the wudu area of the local mosque. Our correspondents from the neighboring village of Rajabil and Sohofarang say locals had agreed to pave the mosque as a rainy season made the soil besides the most muddy. However, the information was passed to the military by the local collaborators. The military came to the area on last Sunday and threatened Rohingyas with consequences for paving the area. They said the Muslim had not been given permission to freely practice their religion and they had no rights to do building and works. The Rohingyas were forced to pay 100,000 min market. The Myanmar army has killed a Rohingya Muslim for refusing to work for them without charge, local residents told Arkhan News Agency. A Rohingya Muslim man named Abdul Malik Abu Hussein, aged 53, from the town of Budidong, was carrying out his daily work near his village when he came across by the army personnel and asked him to work for them without any payment. But the victim refused to obey their orders, prompting them to beat him to death. According to the correspondent, the army officials in the village threatened the family of the victim to prison them in the event of a complaint to the higher authorities in the city and said they would give them 2 million minma kid as a compensation of this attack. The victim's family was afraid of the threat and obeyed orders and buried the body, the correspondent added. It should be noted that the Myanmar forces assault on Rohingya Muslims in the state of Arkan on a daily basis. And these attacks happen with individual agenda or under the guidance of officials and leaders. Local Rohingya resident in Mongjo city, northwest of Arkan province, found the body of an elderly Rohingya on Sunday who was brutally killed in the forest. A local source told Arkan news agency that the man was named Mr. Salimullah Nazir Hussain, aged 42, left his village on Thursday morning in the near forest. After his delay in returning home, his family and the neighbors searched for him in the middle of the forest. A local source told Arkan news agency that the man was named Mr. Salimullah Nazir Hussain, aged 42, left his village on Thursday morning to near forest. After his delay in returning home, his family and neighbors searched for him in the middle of the forest. The source pointed out that the victim's body was found in herbation and various stab marks in the body. His family believes that the extremist Buddhist gang roamed the forest while the police do not investigate or prosecute these criminals. The Myanmar authorities in the city of Mongdo, Arkhan State, began last Sunday to remove the effects of the military campaign launched against the Muslim Rohingya in the past month. Before the arrival of the UN investigative mission announced by the United Nations last week, the sources said the local authorities had sent several bulldozers to remove the remains of the burned and destroyed houses and remains of the Rohingya after the military campaign launched since October 9th last year. According to the eyewitnesses, a bulldozer of the security forces removed in the town of Wabak in Mongdo and removed the destroyed remains of the Rohingya houses and land was cleared. They also dug away the graves where the bodies of the victims were buried. Rohingya activists said that this is a trick by the government before the arrival of any international delegation visiting the uh, region where an international mission by the UN, UN Human Rights Council is expected to arrive. Myanmar Foreign Ministry said fact-finding mission could do more to inflame issue rather than resolve them. The government of Myanmar has rebuffed the United Nations decision to probe into alleged human rights violation in the country's western Arkan state, according to the official media reports on last Saturday. The UN Human Rights Council on last Friday decided to send an international fact-finding mission to the Southeast Asian country to establish the facts and the circumstances of alleged violation by the military and security forces and abuses against Rohingya Muslims in particular. The state-run newspaper on last Saturday published a statement of foreign ministry saying the establishment of the mission would do more to inflame rather than resolve the issue at this time. Myanmar has disassociated itself from the resolution as a whole, the statement said, adding that the decision was not in accord with the complex and challenging situation on the ground and the national circumstances. The government also said it would set out a clear action plan for the prompt implementation of the interim recommendation made by the former UN chief Kofi Annan-led advisory committee on Arkan State last week. Arkan Rohingya Union, ARU, the European Rohingya Council, ERC, welcomed the adoption of UN Human Rights Council resolution on Myanmar. 
the United Nations Human Rights Council has agreed to send an international fact-finding mission to investigate widespread allegations of killings, rapes and torture by Myanmar armed force against Rohingya ethnic minority in Arkan Rakhine state. Arkan Rohingya Union and the European Rohingya Council warmly welcomes the HRC resolution calling for sending an international fact-finding mission to Arkan to investigate crimes against humanity committed by the government of Myanmar and armed forces, combination of army, BJP personnel and township police, accompanied by the local government officials. The Global Rohingya Center GRC participated in a seminar entitled Rights of Muslim Minorities Against Marginalization and Persecution and last Wednesday in the uh, Sudanese capital Khartoum. The seminar was represented by its director in Sudan, Abdullah Hafiz, who raised the seminar by commenting on the Muslims of Rohingya and the oppression they are subjected to by the police, army and the Buddhist extremists in Myanmar. The seminar was resulted in writing of 10 laws which will be represented by the jurists and diplomats in international forms and human rights forms. And the initiation of these laws are focused to protect the rights of minorities and the rights of Muslim minorities to be specific. The seminar was organized by the Civil Aid Organization in cooperation for Center for Minority Studies, Sudan Office. The number of participation were 40 individuals from the field of law, a specialized center for human rights, the Bar Association, activists in the fields of human rights and minorities, as well as a number of media professionals. A government-supported hospital will be built in Arkan, Myanmar, for the treatment of all residents of the state. The Indonesian news agency Antara reported. Indonesian Vice President Yusuf Kala expressed his optimism about the construction of the hospital and the completion of its construction in 2017. According to the agency, the government will send a technical team to review all things such as finding workers and others after the completion of construction. The Emergency Medical Rescue Committee has proposed the construction of an Indonesian hospital in Arkan in June 2016 to support of the Indonesian Red Cross and Indonesian Buddhist representative. The committee have raised funds worth 30 billion Indonesian rupiah, all of which will be distributed to build the hospital and purchase medical equipment, said Sabri Abdul Murad, head of the medical presidency of the commission. The need of 18 billion Indonesian rupiah uh, for the hospital is enough, he said. He added that the construction of the hospital will begin in April 2017 in the state of Arkan, an area inhabited by Muslims and Buddhists. The hospital is a neutral place and serves the interests of people of different faith and social classes in hope of rapprochement and mutual trust. Thank you for watching this show. I hope to see you very soon with more news.